Well, when it comes to the Postal Service, Florida is seeing delivery delays in the home stretch before Election Day. Our Capitol reporter, Forrest Saunders, shows us the concern for some voters as nearly 2 million mail-in ballots are outstanding before the November 3rd deadline. With COVID-19 still a threat across the state, Monique Brown didn't want to take any chances at the polls this year. They were going to be crowded, so I figured that I should vote through mail to keep, you know, to stay distance and to keep myself from catching the virus possibly. Her mail-in ballot likely well on its way, but she does have a lingering concern, wondering if it'll arrive before the election day deadline. No, I haven't checked. I should. I should, but I, I haven't checked. The heart of the unease? Delivery times this fall. The USPS regularly missing its goal to get 95% of first-class mail delivered within five days. The latest national average, 85.7%. And while Central Florida is doing just a bit better, the rest of the state is worse. We are absolutely fully prepared and ready at the U.S. Postal Service. USPS Representative Carol Hunt says the service is moving as quickly as possible. She pointed to extra efforts being made, more overtime, extra processing power, and extra pickup and delivery trips. Actually, our number one priority between now and November is the secure and timely delivery of our election mail. In total, election offices have provided 1.8 million Florida mail-in ballots that have yet to be returned. And if you haven't mailed yours yet... Hi, I'm Florida Secretary of State and Chief Elections Officer Laurel Lee. State officials warn this week it's probably too late, suggesting other ways to get them counted. Your local supervisor of elections has provided secure drop boxes at their main and branch offices. Given what's at stake and the potential of slow delivery... Slowly but surely. Brown is feeling fortunate she mailed her ballot earlier this month. Month. The earlier the better, you know, the earlier the better. Instead of these final few days, but you better believe she'll still be checking her ballot status in hopes she still has time on her side. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC 27.